Don't you think it would be fun if everybody just started their day stamping? So I want you to start your day stamping. Forget the dishes. That'll wait. And I'm going to show you what I did last night. I had a little function, a stamping function, and the stamp set we were using is dark and dreary. So I'm going to get started, and I'm going to start with the end in mind. So I'm starting actually with the card open up. I'm using black cardstock from my actual card. And the very first thing I'm going to do is usually the last thing I do, which is stamp your breaking rights on the back. And I'm doing this because I'm using white craft ink, and of course it takes a little bit extra time for this ink to set up. So I'm using our chandelier from Dark and Dreary. And important to know when you're using the white craft ink or any craft ink is that you want to have a light hand. Make sure you're stamping it up each time, but try not to push real hard on your ink pad so that you aren't getting all kinds of ink in all the crevices of your stamp. So I'm just stamping this spider all the way down the page and then I'm gonna start back up the other side with just a few. Okay, so I'm just going to set that side apart for now. And then moving to the front, I've already put my um, Concord cardstock through our new vintage wallpaper embossing folder. I just love how rich this thing is. So I'll give you a lesson on the Big Shot another day, but for today, let's assume that you know how to use that. I'm using my Anywhere Glue Sticks, which anyone who knows me knows that I use these all the time. I think they are awesome. And I just go around the outside edge, or around the block, I sometimes say. So go around the block with your glue and just bring that to your card front. So this is cut to four by five and a quarter, and that'll give me just that nice one eighth inch edge all the way around. So regular card, card size, and four by five and a quarter for your Concord. Now, the next part is our actual stamping. And so we're using our Happy Halloween image from Dark and Dreary. And in this case, I'm going to have you put your stamp just flat down on a flat surface, and we're using basic black classic ink. And the reason I'm doing it this way is so that you can visually see that your whole stamp is getting well inked. There's nothing worse than stamping and then the middle of it isn't quite um, as nice of an impression as it should be. Now, it's a clear stamp, so the whole idea is that I can get this absolutely straight, right? So let's just see how I do. Nice big push. Looks pretty darn good. Okay, and then we're just going to mount that on some black cardstock. The next thing I'm going to do is I need my extra um, large decorative label punch, and I'm going to punch two black labels. And I can use it this way, which is, I, I like that because I can see where I'm going. Or if you need to, for strength, if you need to set it on the table, just set your paper, or your, sorry, set your punch down and just punch like so. So either way is going to give you a great result depending on your own preference. So let me set that on there real quick. Again, we're just going to walk around the block Oops. on your designer series paper. Get that onto your basic black. Here's the next part. So making sure you know which side is up. Put a little bit of adhesive here. Take one of your decorative label punches and you're going to put it on the back. So you're going to decide how much of that you want to stick up. That's just add a little bit of interest to it. Just make sure it's centered. And then flipping it over to the back side again, add a little more adhesive. Looks a little bit crooked. Here's the beauty of the glue sticks. If at first it looks a little crooked, shove it over. It'll move. Okay, so your extra one on the back, and you're sort of lining these up parallel on the back so you know they're going to be centered to each other. And again, just adjust it a little bit for how far down you want it, so that's that part. We're going to add four dimensionals to the back of that, so I've already done that here. Just like so, you want them positioned one on each corner. And I'm going to have to do that on my actual here. You also want to make sure that they're not too close to the edges because we don't want to see them from behind. If this little trick, push your thumbnail into the center of each of those little papers and they will flip right off for you. Okay, this is going to come over to your card front. Make sure that your fold is on the right side. You'd be surprised how many people make a card and it's like, okay, it opens a little upside down, but don't tell anybody. Maybe they won't notice. Haven't we all done that a few times? And then... I've got my things in here that should be dry by now. I've stamped the Raven from Dark and Dreary on Sahara Sand cardstock. 
and I've cut it out with my paper snips and just leaving a little edge of the hair sand all the way around so that it sort of gives it a nice finish. It'd be like just a little bit of cardstock on there. And we're going to add a couple of dimensions to the back of that. And peel those off. Again, that thumbnail. And then I had this just so that the head goes just, just over top of the cardstock so it really accentuates it. And then from there, here's my finished one. I'll just show you this one. I brought our little gemstones in here just for a little bling and then on the inside I finished it with enjoy and that's from it's your birthday stamp set and it's supposed to say it's your day enjoy but since it always says happy Halloween I just said enjoy thanks for stopping by I hope you come back soon to stamp